Thanks for tuning in. This is a lecture about suspended sediment transport in estuaries. So we're talking about suspended sediment particles, not dissolved substance. Okay, and suspended sediment plays quite a big role. Okay, so the two key features are that suspended Sediment can be of the form of organic particulate matter, detritus. So it's actually a food source, okay? A food source of so-called suspension feeders, animals that feed on particles, on organic particles. Okay, but there are other aspects. Uh, sediments can also be, um, can also change the light conditions. Okay, you can create murky water essentially significantly reducing the light condition indeed that's a, that will have a negative impact on um, plankton production anyway so let's get let's get started so it's a fascinating theme and you learn quite uh, you learn the basics of suspended sediment all right so this is what we will be talking about as an introduction, suspended sediment as nutrient source and or pollutants. Okay, we talked about pollutants. What is a pollutant? A pollutant is a substance introduced to an estuary that can be potentially harmful. And clearly suspended sediment can do this. Okay. To give you one example already, there's a little image here, okay, showing a major stormwater discharge from the Torrance River into the Adelaide uh, Metropolitan Water Body. Okay? And you can see that plume here. You can see this is the Torrance River. You can see all the dark stuff here. This is suspended sediment. And you can see a clear transition zone. Okay? And you can imagine that the existence of this storm water changes the light conditions and light is essential you know for seagrass um, health stuff like that okay then we talk about sediment erosion it's the erosion of sediment from the seafloor transport settling and deposition and then in positive estuaries there is a special feature called the tip the turbidity region is a very important turbidity region okay how does it form what's the problem with it with these turbidity and then at the end i also uh, tell you about turbidity currents it's also a significant feature associated with suspended um, sediment Okay, what does suspended mean? It means it's a par particle within the water column. Okay, this is what we call suspend. Lifted from the seafloor or introduced by a river in something which is in the water column. Okay, let's get started. So we start with some, some basic features. 